Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisarg Kadam and today we are going to go ahead and look at very beautiful use case. So rather I tell you about the use case, let me execute the use case. So think about it. Every day morning you got up and now the first thing you need to do is you need to read all the emails that you have received in your inbox. Now reading all these emails is a boring job. So you just have to uh, probably skip this part or you just open the emails and just classify the emails accordingly into the specific folders or you can automate your email classification. However, what I would like to do is I would like to start my job by reading the emails, but I don't want to read the emails. I want to do my chores. In the meantime, bot will read the emails for me. Now you will say what Nisarg is actually saying. Yes, you heard me right. So let's create a bot which can read out emails loudly for you while you do your own job. So let's see how this works. So all you have to do is every morning you just have to wake up, open the UI path assistant and click on read emails loud. Now let's look at what it does. So in my outlook, I have four emails. Now it's going to go ahead and read the first email. Now, as you can see on screen, bot is still running and bot starts reading the first email. Hi, you have received email from digital missile 23 at gmail.com. The email body is hi Nisarg. Welcome to the UI Paths community events. Thank you for attending this session. Hope you enjoy this session. Please let us know your feedback and see you in next session. Thanks and regards, robot. Isn't this wonderful? The robot is reading out email for you. I have just opened the same email so that you can read the email. Also, bot is telling you have received this email from which person. Now, also bot is asking, would you like to read the next email? So let's say, yes, I would like to read the next email. As soon as you click on yes, bot will jump on the next email, which is data science course. So let's look at what the next email is all about. Hi, you have received email from Nisarg Kadam. The email body is hi Nisarg. What profession did Harvard call the sexiest job of the 21st century? That's right, the data scientist. Ah, yes, the ever mysterious data scientist. So what exactly is the data scientist's secret sauce? And what does this sexy person actually do at work every day? This article is intended to help define the data scientist role including typical skills. So I'm just going to pause this music as of now is because it's continuously going to read it until and unless I stop it. So would you like to read the next email? No. And I just say, okay, the bot stops on the spot. And as you can see, read out email loud, run, ran for two minutes. Now, as you have seen this, I hope you are really interested to create this bot with me. So let's navigate and let's create this use case. So first of all, we need to create a Python code. Now you will be scared. Okay, now Nisarg is coming back from RPA to coding, but no, you don't have to write hundreds of lines of Python code. You just have to write seven to eight lines of Python code and that's it. That will do the job for us. Now you might be wondering, am I, am I lying to you? No, I am not lying at all. So let's go ahead and let's create a Python code for converting text to speech. So first of all, I have created a UI path project called as email reader, as you can see on the screen. Now, before I jump on to writing, uh, I mean, creating a robot in UI path studio, I would first of all have to create Python code. So let's navigate to sublime text. So you can also use notepad if you don't have sublime. I'm just using sublime in case uh, you, you see the colored intendation. So which is really helpful in, uh, in case if you're typing any code in a raw format. So first of all, you need to make sure whether GTTS is installed in your laptop. Okay, so even before that, you should have Python in your laptop. So once you have a Python, you just need to make sure that you have installed pip. And then let's try Python hyphen M pip install GTTS. All you have to do is enter. And as you can see on screen, for me, it's already downloaded. So it's saying requirement already satisfied. You just need to make sure that you download this particular package. And once you download this package, all you need to do is from GTDS, import GTDS, okay? And now before I go in with coding stuff, 
I need to make sure that I write it and I save it somewhere. So I just need to go ahead and click save UI path email reader. And I write here, this is uh, text to, okay, I can just say text to speech dot py, that should do. Uh, keep the format type as all files and save it. That's it. So I have saved this particular project, save this uh, particular uh, Python code into UiPath project, which I'm going to run. Now, all you need to do is import OS is because we want to read this text loud using operating system. So we need to uh, make sure that any MP3 reader or any MP3 player which you have automatically works on. So then we need to define a, a method. So I'd say text to speech and we'll take one input here. It's going to be just input, that's it. We give indentation. Uh, so definition always has colon, make sure that uh, then we have language equals, we'll make sure we have English. Then we will create speech where GTTS now this is a function, so it needs, first of all, text, which is going to be equal to your input. Then we need language, which is equal to, sorry, uh, then we need lang, which is equal to our language, which we have already defined. And then we need whether we want it to make slow or not. So we will say false. So speech rate, we have given the input which we are going to pass and the language is going to be English. And then we will make sure to make it save. So speech dot save. And you need to make sure that you save it somewhere. So you need to give you a path. So let's give a path for that. What we will do is we will just navigate simply to our UI path. Studio, our project. Okay, refresh it, come here. And just copy this particular address of the folder. Now we get back and let's add voice.mp3. Okay, or you can give any name which you would like to. Make sure the folder, once you're out of folder path, remove and give escape root because it's Python. So this is done. And then you need to do one thing is os.system. I need to make sure that you say start. So you just need to say start and that's it. You need to copy the entire path of this particular mp3 which you're going to save. So you just simply put it here and now we need to return something, right? So we just say return, we will say true. That's it. Now, how many lines of code is this? As I mentioned earlier, we're just going to go ahead and write only eight lines of code. And this is no more than eight lines of code. That's it. So let's go ahead, let's save this code and let's try to execute it using our UiPath Studio. So I have saved it. Uh, let's close this guy. So before we close it, let's navigate to project. Let's refresh. And now we need to check whether this code is actually working. So in order to check whether this code is actually working, simply navigate to the project folder location. Uh, you have text to speech. You can open it with the idle. And in the idle, so just say run, run module. And all you need to do is give the name of the method and the text. So let's say I am Mr. Them. I live in Pune. That's it. I'm just going to go ahead and say enter. Let's hope we don't get any error. And I am see. Mr. Kadam. I live in. So this is wonderful. So what we did is just we executed the code and executed completely. We got true as written. So that means code is perfectly working. Let's navigate to UiPath and let's complete the code. So in order to create this particular workflow, all we need is first of all the Python package. So let's go to officials, say Python, and we have your uipath.python.activities. So we are going to go ahead and save it and install it. Now, once you install Python activities, we will follow certain procedures to get this data and to make this workable. So also you need a email package, but in my case, it is already installed. So you need uipath.mail.activities. 
Now, once you do that, navigate here and in the activities type in Python. Now let's say Python scope. So before that, it, you need to take a sequence which is already taken. So click on Python scope and we need path of the Python. So just type in Python here. You'll see open file location. So Python 3.6 we are using. Let's open the file location of it and copy the file location for Python. Let's go ahead and display it right here. The target is 64 bit and it is Python 36. Save it. Now, what do we need is load Python script. So let's click, uh, drag it here. Where's the Python script? So Python script is this text to speech. Save it. Create a output variable for this Python script, which is py script. Let's call it py script. Okay. Then we need to invoke the Python method. So invoke the Python method and give it here name, which is uh, text to speech, which is the method name of our Python. And instance is py script, which we took earlier. And now we need to define the input parameter. Now, before we define the input parameter, as of now, I will just keep it a simple string, which is hi, I am. Okay, that's it. Create a variable here, which is py method. And then finally, we need to load the, sorry, invoke, uh, what is it, get Python object. So get the Python object. For that, we need py method. And object is nothing but your Boolean value. So we are going to go ahead and create a variable, which is result. And that's it. Now, once you get the result, we need to make sure to print this result and check whether it is working or not. Uh, this is going to go ahead and it's going to execute. So let's say right line, and I'm just going to say, you know, result, sorry, result dot to string. And we are just going to go ahead and check this code whether it is working currently or not. So let's execute it. So we have integrated Python with UiPath Studio as of now. Let's check. Hi, I am. So as you can see on screen, it said, hi, I am. That means our code worked fine. Now, what we need to do is we need to read emails. So how do we do that? And how do we map this Python scope with our emails? So for that, all you need to do is just write Outlook, get Outlook mail messages, the account type. Now, in my case, account is nasirkadam at the outlook.com. Filter, don't need. Mark as read, you might need. So as of now, my all emails are already read. So I'm just going to remove only unread messages. You can mention top, how many emails you want to fetch and create a variable, which is list of emails. Okay, it's because it's going to return me list of all the mail messages, as you can see on screen. Now, how do I read each and every email? You guessed it right. I need to drag for each. So I will drag in for each right here. I will say list of all emails and item is mail. And each mail is nothing but in the browse for types, I'm going to say mail message, which is nothing system dot mail dot mail message. I'm just going to click on yes. That's all about it. Now, all you need to do is drag this Python scope inside. Now, why did we drag it inside? It's because we need to read each and every email. So what we need to do is we need to pass that as an input to our Python code. For that, we will say, first of all, you will type hi, you have received email from, and then I will say the name of the sender. So which is in my case, mail dot, sender dot to string but here name of the sender and the email address of the sender will be uh, both together in the sender so i just need to make sure to split this one wherever there is the bigger arrow i mean opening bracket and i'm just going to say dot to care array i don't want it and i will just say zeroth index which is going to give me only the name of the sender then we need the email body is and then you read the email so that's it so mail dot body dot to string 
And that's what about it. So this is your entire string, which you pass to your Python code as an input. Now, once you pass this Python code as an input, all you need to do is you need to add here input dialog right here below this right line. You will say here in the title that information, you will mention here, do you want me to read out next email also? So basically bot is asking question and the answer could be only yes and no. So I'm just going to give an options yes, comma, no. And the output variable will be answer. That's it. So if my answer, as you can see, if my answer is yes, I want to continue with the for each guy. And if my answer is no, I just simply want to break this particular for each loop. And that's it. So this is your entire code. Exactly. And you might be thinking this is simple, right? And this is fooling us, but no, I'm not fooling you guys. So this is the entire code. Let's go ahead and let's publish it. So I clicked on publish. Uh, the name of the package is email reader. I will say publish. Publish options is going to orchestrate a tenant. So I'm just going to say publish. That's it. So my package is now published. It is sent to orchestrator. Let's navigate to our orchestrator, which is right here. So I'm going to simply go here in the packages and I'm going to check whether this package got uploaded. Okay, so I am not authenticated. I got logged out. Let me log in again. No issues. Sure thing. Because it was logged in from long time. Now I'll click on the serve and it navigates to my orchestrator. Default folder, perfect. The packages we have email reader, which was uploaded just a few seconds ago. That's perfect. Let's create a process for it. So let's go to process. Let's click on plus, which is the process email reader. Name of the process is read emails, read my email. So we will give it a different name, read my emails. Package version is 1.0.1. Environment is Dell laptop. Priority is normal. Let's click create and that's it. Your package is created. Process is created, which is read my emails. Now let's go ahead and check in UiPath Assistant, as you can see here, read my emails is displaying right now. So let's download this one. This is a one-time download. And now you are good to go and run read my emails. So let's check whether it is working. So let's click on run and let's see our code working. Now the board is exec executing. It is converting the first email into text, sorry, into speech. Hi, you have received email from digital nisarg23 at gmail.com. The email body is Hi Nisarg. Welcome to the UiPath community events. Thank you for attending this session. Hope you enjoy this session. Please let us know your feedback and see you in next session. Thanks and regards, robot. Isn't that wonderful? So I'll click on no and that's it. The robot stopped. So this is how we can create our own email reader within only 15 minutes of time period. I hope you loved this session and you like this video. Please share, follow and subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's make it a community of 1000 plus. Enjoy.